Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Harrison and this is going to be an Unreal 4 Engine C++ tutorial on how to log out messages to the console and to the screen. So again, you never have to watch the videos. There should be a GitHub link down below in the comments that you should be able to just get the code and move on. But in case if you get stuck or if you want to watch the video, let's move forward. So the first thing we want to do is create a new class. Uh, again, this is for example purposes. We're going to make it an actor. Go ahead and click next. Call it uh, debug logger. And create the class. There is a, a few different ways to create or to print out messages, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, I have the notes to the right side of me, so I'm not doing everything from the top of my head. I'm trying to get these videos to get done as fast as possible. It'd be quick. All right, so let's go ahead and log out. Uh, the standard way of just logging out is UE log. Uh, warning kind of depicts the color of it. Text, and we'll go. I just started running. So we put this in the uh, begin play method, so it'll log out to the console as soon as we push play. So let's save it, let's compile it, and see what happens. I also have the output log output log tab here. To in case that doesn't pop up immediately, go to window, go down to Dev Tools, and output log. So check that. Let's push play. And escape out. Did it print out or not? Oh, you know, I didn't drag in the actor. My fault. Debug log actor, drag him in. I'm going to add a component so I can kind of get some things on him. Uh, billboard. Uh, now, where is he? Just so I don't lose him. Now, push play. I pushed Shift F1 to get control of my mouse. So now we have the log I just started running, and that's what we put in our C++ class. Let's stop that and let's move forward. Uh, where are some other ways to log out? Uh, we can print to the screen as well, which is definitely a lot more helpful, especially when you're making a game and kind of want to see the message directly. Uh, how do we do that? Uh, I think the proper way is to first check if you're in first check for GEngine, and then print to screen. Uh, G engine add on screen debug message. Oh, geez, I forget what all these parameters mean. Um, it's gonna stay on for five seconds, I think. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna make the color be red, and the text is gonna read screen message, all right, that's the point. Uh, let's save it, let's compile and push play, and we should get a message in our top left corner. And you can see that we have the message right here, screen message. So we just logged out to the screen. Uh, I think one shortcut that they provide in the documentation is to kind of put a print message up here, so we can make that happen real quick as well. What do they want? I think they want above the includes. Let me add an if statement to check if it's a G engine. That's true. And uh, one point five. Okay, let's change the color to green. Now uh, let's change the message to uh, what to say print print screen something print screen. And now since we defined it up there, now we can use it down below. Uh, print. Uh, no, we want to be able to change that. Yeah. Uh, the text is right here, so the text is the parameter, and what we want to do is just put the parameter in there. Um, and then we go um, hello galaxy. Put that there. I'm double checking to see if it looks right. Uh, 
I guess you don't need the text parameter there. Um, well, you know what? Hmm, let's see what happens. You might not need this uh, thing right here, the above the, the cap text. Uh, the text. I think let's good. Let's go ahead. See what happens. See what breaks. Let's push play. And so we have the hello galaxy message that was up for 1.5 seconds, and then the screen message that'll be up for five seconds. Uh, do we have anything more we want to try to check out? Uh, I guess it's kind of good to know how to print out a vector or an F string. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through that real quick. Now let's create an F vector because you might want to know like the location of an object or your player. My vec equals uh, whatever it is. 100. 500, uh, 700. Add on screen debug message. Yeah, I think everything else is going to be very similar. Uh, five. I'll have it up there for five seconds. Um, we'll make the color orange. And now we're not doing a regular string, we are doing an F string, so let's go through that process. It'll be an F string. Where did I mess this up? And then print F, I think. Yeah, print F. My vector equals, uh, and we want it to be a string. So that percent s sign represents that we'll add a string after the comma. So we need to. Uh, yeah, it's very simple. Um, just go my vector and convert that to a string. And we should be good to go. So we should be, so that should pop up when we push play. Let's see what happens. All right, so we got this F string, F string, do, 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 what I, what I mess up. All right here, we have to wrap this in the text parameter. I think that's good. Oh, my vector is undefined. Yeah, because I called it my vec. My bad. Goodness sakes, I am horrible. Uh, syntax error. Uh, line thirty-four. Um, I'm missing a parentheses, I believe. I don't know where though. I think it's right here. Uh, okay, so I never closed out the uh, debug message function. All right, you compiled, let's make it happen. So now you see at the very top, you might not be able to see it, uh, but it says my vector equals 100, 500, 700. So when you do a vector or a name, sometimes you just have to convert it to a string. So awesome, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully that helped out, helped out a little bit and I'll see you in the next video.